Hi, I'm Valerie Pringle and I'm chair of the Trans-Canada Trail Foundation. I love this project. I think it is the greatest project in the history of the world. A place of wonder, beauty and inspiration. The Trans-Canada Trail is an outdoor sanctuary that connects us with nature and with one another. It is a national treasure, but the trail would not exist without the people who help build and care for it. Today, the Trans-Canada Trail and our community of supporters are honored to express our profound gratitude to the trail's greatest champion, Valerie Pringle. Hello everyone, bonjour, bonjour. As Lieutenant Governor of Ontario, I'm just delighted to add my voice to all those of you honoring Valerie Pringle. A dedicated Trans-Canada Trail volunteer, ambassador, and long-serving board member. You know, on many occasions I've heard Valerie refer to the trail as the greatest project in the history of the world. An act of hyperbole, of course, to which she eagerly confesses. Valerie, the people of Ontario and Canada owe you a debt of gratitude for this public-spirited, tireless, and essential work. We cannot wait to see what you're going to contribute next. The vision of a national trail network first captured Valerie's imagination in the 1990s during her tenure as a co-host of CTV's long-running morning show, Canada AM. Not long after leaving the show in 2001, she joined the trail's board of directors. Since then, Valerie has shared her genuine passion for the trail with everyone she meets igniting widespread enthusiasm and support for the project. I'm so delighted to help celebrate Valerie's 20 years plus of passionate service to the trail. What an achievement. And when I think about Valerie, I think about a huge heart and the warmest smile imaginable. Uh, the metaphor that I use is diversity is inviting someone to a dance and inclusivity is inviting someone to dance. That's what Valerie represents the inclusivity of inviting to dance. And that's, of course, what the, tra the Trans Canada Trail is about, is that inclusivity and inviting people to dance. Coast to coast to coast with a trail, unique in countries around the world, in that we have a trail that transfers or across all of this land from coast to coast to coast. Hey there, Valerie. I know there's going to be a lot of videos here that talk about what an inspiration you are, how indefatigable you are, and how indispensable you've been to the Trans-Canada Trail. But I have the pleasure of being able to thank you on behalf of the Board of Directors. So in particular, I wanted to call attention to your attentiveness, your thoughtfulness, your spirit of collaboration, the way in which you've always solved not only for what's good for the organization, but also what's good for the staff of the Trans-Canada Trail. And if I could add a personal note, I'm deeply grateful for your friendship, for your partnership, and for bringing me into this organization, which serves not only Canadians, but I think a higher purpose. You are the absolute best, Valerie. We love you. Thank you. A gifted storyteller, Valerie captures the essence of why the trail matters through the image of children growing up with access to nature, of feeling connected to people in Victoria, St. John's, and Tuktoyuktuk by walking one shared path and of passionate volunteers stewarding the trail across 15,000 communities. Hello everyone, uh, Chris Hadfield here. I have had the incredible privilege as a Canadian to cross our country, not just once or twice, but thousands of times from coast to coast uh, on board various spaceships. And that changed my perspective and understanding of Canada itself. It deepened it. And, and very much enriching. But if you're gonna see the country on the surface, one of the best things, of course, you can do is, is to go out and, and walk parts of our country, to see it, to smell it, to, to, to be able to touch it, to get a visceral sense of Canada. Um, and the Trans-Canada Trail is such a, a wonderful marrying of those two ideas, but just like space flight, it takes a champion. It takes leadership and it takes tenacity. And I don't know anybody who has those three traits better than uh, Valerie Pringle. And Valerie, thank you enormously for all the work you put into the trans Canada Trail. It has made a huge difference for so many individual Canadians and for Canada. And this great trail is 
extended over 24,000 kilometers, uh, finished in 2017. Uh, and it's opening up Canada in ways that we could never imagine, not just for this generation, but for generations to come. And it was done uh, by you, through your leadership, 15 years of leadership, putting you in the pantheon of great Canadian nation builders. You've done it with your usual style. That's good humor, joyfulness, passion, persistence, all those things uh, that made you able to get things done. Uh, all I can tell you, Valerie, is just look around you. What you've created is truly magnificent. Hi, I'm John Geiger, Chief Executive Officer of the Royal Canadian Geographical Society. I've always had an enormous admiration for, for Valerie, um, and I was so delighted to get to know her through her chairmanship of the Trans-Canada Trail. It's been such a, an enormous pleasure to see the amazing impact Valerie has had, the connection of the trail from coast to coast to coast. So natural partnership and um, really, I'm very, very excited to be part of this event today and to congratulate you, Valerie, on your enormous impact on our country. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry I couldn't be there tonight, but I would just like to wish uh, Valerie a happy retirement from the Trans-Canada Trail. I'm here walking on my favorite part of the Trans-Canada Trail in Bright Creek, Alberta. Of course, I might just be a little partial to this part of the country, but Thank you very much for everything you've done. You've created people from coast to coast to coast who love trails, who build trails, and you are our number one trail builder. Now to uh, quote the late, great Roy Rogers, happy trails to you until we meet again. I know that we couldn't have achieved what we did without that Pringle factor. You were the glue that bound us all together. And for that, I will be forever grateful. And so I want to say to you today, thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me the opportunity to work with you and to work on a national iconic project. And I know that wherever you sprinkle that Pringle factor in the future, good things will happen. As co-chair of the Chapter 150 campaign, Valerie was instrumental in raising over 83 million to expand the trail across every province and territory as a gift for future generations. Valerie Pringle is a uniter. People are drawn to Valerie as much as she draws people together. It's his innate ability to unite that made her effective as a journalist and popular as a broadcaster. And it's certainly what makes her so dynamic as a leader, fundraiser, volunteer, and advocate. Valerie, once again, you've united us together tonight in celebration of your dedication and your remarkable contributions to make the Trans-Canada Trail a success from coast to coast to coast. Congratulations on every goal you have reached and each milestone you have achieved along the way. Cheers, my friend. Some 30 years ago, Jack Rind introduced me to the Trans-Canada Trail and along the way to Valerie Pringle with her dedication to making the trail more accessible to all Canadians, as well as to visitors from afar. It has been greatly rewarding to visit Valerie's compelling enthusiasm and rock solid belief in the benefits hikers derive from the enjoyment of the great outdoors. That is, after a walk through the forest, across prairie grasslands, or along the banks of a lake or stream, we invariably return feeling better. Thank you, Valerie, for this wonderful gift and much, much more. You know, for Bruce and me, when we think of you, what we think more of is not just what you do, but how you do it, how you accomplish all the things that you do. It's the Valerie magic. You draw people in, Valerie. You're magnetic. You make people feel good about themselves, feel good about a, a cause. But then you're exothermic. You explode out energy um, an endlessly renewable source of energy that just ignites people uh, and things uh, around you. You're brave, you take on tough topics, you engage with challenging people, you make them feel good about what they can do, and uh, you blaze the trail, others follow. Valerie is also an outspoken advocate for mental health awareness and the mental health benefits of spending time outdoors an issue that has become all the more vital in this time of pandemic. The Trans-Canada Trail is not the only great love in Valerie's life. The other, of course, is her family, her husband Andy, sons Tony and Jeffrey, and daughter Catherine. 
Valerie, Valerie Pringle on the Trans-Canada Trail. Wow, Valerie, you and I have been married for 47 years and the Trans-Canada Trail has been part of our lives for 21 of those years. You know, I feel like I've walked it every step of the way and back. But man, you brought passion, energy, intelligence to the discussion and to the fundraising and you should be so pleased of what you've accomplished and it's a great gift to the country in my view that uh, all Canadians will enjoy for generations to come. So enjoy this uh, success, enjoy this tribute and uh, with all my love and support, congratulations. Thank you for your contribution to what is such an incredible gift to generations to come and to the country uh, and such an incredible institution that you've helped to, to create. Uh, and thank you for continuing to impress, amaze, and inspire me. Thank you, Mum. Hello, Mumsy. Uh, the Trans-Canada Trail is really about building connections. And I find it so fitting that you're involved because I can't think of many others who have built more connections to Canadians than you have. All of my life, I've had the privilege to witness firsthand the impact that you have made on the lives of your fellow countrymen. Whether it was in a small coffee shop in Dawson City, Yukon, having dinner with you here in Vancouver, or just simply walking down the street in Halifax, you always have Canadians come up to you and share their stories, share the impact that you've had with them, and share that connection with you. I am so incredibly proud to call myself your son. The work you've done on the trail is nothing short of amazing. I love you so much and congratulations. Valerie, thank you for all of your time, effort and dedication to the greatest project in the history of the world. Your work has been nothing short of inspiring. They say that legacy is not what we do for ourselves, but what we leave to the next generation. The legacy you leave with connecting this trail is not only a wonderful one for our country, but inspiring for the next generation, including your wonderful grandchildren. Thank you again for all of your hard work on this wonderful project. Congratulations. Valerie has walked, biked, and paddled countless sections of the Trans-Canada Trail, making connections with communities across the country. This year, as we celebrate the trail's 30th anniversary, we encourage you to do the same. Get outside, explore, connect. As Valerie likes to say, it's your trail, light it up. Please join us in saying a heartfelt thank you to Valerie, truly one of our nation's finest and most inspiring trailblazers.